thought it was fine. So, this card belonged to you? <laughs> well, it sure does. Where'd you find it? How may I serve you? Well, you can serve me by telling me what you know of Bart and Andy. Never heard of them. Even if I had, I take client confidentiality very seriously. And I take finding them very seriously. How seriously? Stop fucking with me. You want something for the info? Say it. Wasn't asking for charity. Uh, well, that changes everything. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what you need to know. But? But you gotta do something for me in return. First. Yeah, like what? Like? Oh, I don't know. Oh, give me a sec. <laughs> I want to come up with something good. If you're just gonna waste my time, I... Uh, hold up, hold up. <sighs> okay. Almost got it. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. I know what you need to do. <laughs> you gotta sing. Excuse me? You look like you got a set of pipes on you. Let's do your belt one out. Ballad, upbeat number, doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Ooh, I know. Rap. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> if you want me to tell you about Bart, then you'll do it. That's ridiculous. Judging by your reaction, might be therapeutic. <laughs> You got the music in you! Let it out! You can't be serious. Last chance to get what you want! Rap like no one's listening! Although everyone in this place most certainly will be. Fine. I'll do it. See if you can lay it down. Talk to me, bro. Let me rap a little story about a punk named Steve. Scrawny little weasel like you wouldn't believe. He's a conniver, a lowly ass driver. Oh, man. Just looking at his face, he makes me want to heave. Hey, stop being so dumb in the stage. To the top of this town, to the waters below. There ain't no place in this city that I can't go. Yeah, I got mad skills and quite a few kills. Yeah. You can pay me to help you, but I ain't no ho. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I say ass, you say what? I say ass, you say what? I say ass, you say what? I say ass. What? That's right. That's wrong, dude. I'm looking for bros. And that's my introduction. It's who I be. I'm here on a mission, most definitely. My path I am choosing, but you won't see me losing. Yeah. Won't stop until my past is revealed to me. Ooh, man, a mystery. I like it. 
Not bad, ain't it, my man? Some of your rhymes were busted, but a eh, nice try. Come sit back down. <sighs> That's what I call an unforgettable performance. Gotta admit, when I asked you to sing, I was yanking your chain. <laughs> but that was perfect. You're gonna tell me what I need to know, or I'm... Oh, right away. <laughs> no further delay. Uh, fine. <laughs> your Bobsy twins hired me to make sure they and their kid got to the Colonel safely. Paid well. Easy job, really. But we ran into a Peacekeeper patrol along the way. Nasty bunch. Your boys freaked the hell out, worried about the kid, and had me leave them right then and there. I mean, what do I care? They paid me up front. Anything else? Nope, that's it. You sure? Believe me, I'd love to drop another quarter in the jukebox for one more song, <laughs> but I'm being honest here. That's all I know. All right then, tell me where you left them. Um, there's an old coffee shop, not far from here, by the off ramp from the E12, by a metro stop. You can figure it out from there. So, it was the one. I, I talked to her. Takon and I both did. But she wouldn't listen. Huh? I see. There's a little less hope in the wild, Aiden. Not just for her, but for all of us. <laughs> Hakon, you bastard. I'm this close to drinking again because of you for all the good times and bad. But I'm not going backwards. I'm not gonna fall down that hole again. Yeah. Sleep well, friend. I've contacted some of the Night Runners, Aiden. Those who are still alive. Killian should be here anytime soon. But Killian from Old Villador? Same one. Speaking of Old Villador, you have to get to the bazaar, Aiden. She's waiting for you. Waiting for me? Who? The GRE doctor Waltz is probably after. When you mention the bazaar, I was able to get in touch with her. She can help you find Mia. Her name is Veronica Ryan. I remember her. She's one of the first people I met after I came to the city. We were acquainted once. She used to come to the canteen. You'll find us somewhere in the vicinity of the church. Good luck, Aiden, with everything. forever. Tower. I don't like it when it's so quiet. Do you have anything to drink? Not a problem. I can use a drink myself. Pilgrim, long time no see. Hello, Barney. What brings you, pal? How's life? Better? Now that the PK finally stopped bothering us. I'm even thinking of starting my own business. I know a bit about weapon design. I could start making and selling them. Sounds good. And uh, how's Sophie doing? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's major news. She's the big boss now. <laughs> I'm sure she is. After all that happened, folks finally realized we needed a real leader. I'd say things have turned out the way they always should have been. Well, good for her and for all of old Villador. I'm looking for Dr. Veronica Ryan. You're not the only one, man. What do you mean? 
The good doctor's in trouble. And, uh, weird kind of trouble. You see, a group of renegades appeared in Old Villador. At first, we braced ourselves for another battle. But they didn't attack the bazaar. Just ask for Dr. Ryan. Of course, we didn't tell them where she is. And where is Veronica? <laughs> you can tell me, right? In a hideout. Vincenzo and a few of our people are protecting her there. But the less people know about that place, the safer she is. Where is it, Barney? If the renegades are hunting Veronica, a few people may not be enough. You just can't walk away from a fight, can you? The building is north of Quarry End, Courtesan Rose Street. But you didn't hear it from me. And you? Why are you here and not with Vincenzo and the rest? I wanted to be, but Sophie talked me out of it. Said something about not wanting them to have to deal with my attitude. What attitude, for fuck's sake? I have no idea. Okay. Thanks for the info. I'll go and give him a hand. The folks say I'm the one always itching for a fight. Anyway, good luck, man. Thank you. 
Hey. <sighs> Thank God. It works, Veronica. She managed to escape. I need to find her. Do you know where she is now? No. But we can try to contact her. Veronica? Veronica? Are you safe? Veronica? <sighs> Shit. Something's not right. Yes. I'm safe. Are you? Oh, I am now. There is someone who needs to speak to you. Yeah, Dr. Ryan, I'm Aiden. I know that you're being hunted by the renegades. Hurry, Aiden. More renegades may be here any minute. Frank told me you worked for the GRE. I need access to the GRE database in the observatory. I, I have a GRE key. A GRE access key? That's what I've been told. You think you can... Let's meet. I'll be in a small building near the dam, not far from the observatory. Okay, I'll go... Wait, hello? Be careful, Aiden. The place is soaked in chemicals. I will. Thanks for the heads up, Vincenzo. Thank you. I'm lucky you showed up. Farewell, Aiden. Farewell. the dam. Meet me, and then we'll go to the observatory. That's the place you're looking for. But the, the observatory's soaked in chemicals. Find me in the two-story building squeezed between the dam and the promenade.
Had a feeling we'd cross paths sooner or later. You patched up Barney, right? He whimpered like a baby as soon as he saw the needle. And those renegades, why are they after you? Probably the same reason as you. To access the GRE database. What do you want from it, Aiden? Why are you risking so much? I'm looking for my sister. Your sister was in the GRE? She... No, she was a prisoner. I haven't seen her in 15 years. A prisoner? You mean a test subject? I don't know what I'll find. She's... She's the only family I've got. The only answer to what Waltz has done to us. Waltz? He held us there. Had a hobby of experimenting on kids. Did you know about that? I was only a mid-level doctor, Aiden. I'm sorry. Want to know anything else? Or can we go? Why are you helping me? Are you looking for something in the database as well? Aiden, those vaults contain my organization's biggest secrets. I almost died because I was a part of it. I need to know what they were hiding. What if you don't like what you discover? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. How did a GRE doctor wind up at the bazaar? By not letting anyone know I was a GRE doctor. After the revolution, the GRE were blamed for the disaster. Personnel were rounded up and... executed. People used revenge to relieve the pain. Doesn't matter if it doesn't work. What happened, happened. Now I'm someone else. How are you planning to get us inside the observatory? Look, there's a security tunnel into the complex. It was locked up years ago. Give me the key, Aiden. Are you sure the key is functional? It has been. Maybe the problem is that the building has no electricity. Is there any other way to get in there? It depends how much we're prepared to risk. A lot, if you ask me. Okay. Then come with me. I have something to show you. See those domes? Sure, but the place is flooded with chemicals. The GRE had a solution for that. When they created the THV Gen Mod, they had to protect their employees from exposure. But the THV what? The chemicals. They came up with blockers. Shots that would shield their workers for a few minutes from the fumes. Fortunately, I still have two doses. Had a feeling they'd come in handy one day. Oh, those must be worth a pretty penny. They are extremely rare. For now, we will need only one for you. Wait, you're not coming? No, I, I will join you, but first, I'd like you to restore the power to the building. You see, I have panic attacks when I'm in tight spaces or in the dark. <laughs> now, you probably think I'm a coward. Not at all. I think it took guts to come here. So let's do this. When you get there, first restore the power. Then I'll be able to join you. Hold out your arm. Remember, the shot shields you from the chemicals for a limited time only. Can't I take the other one too? No, not at the same time. 
The stuff's too strong. Go as fast as you can to the smaller dome, and from there to the higher one. You should find a door leading inside. There. You'll be safe. Then head to the B block. There you should find the building's main circuit breaker. As soon as you turn on the electricity, the security door will unlock, and I can join you by going through the tunnel I showed you. Now go. The blocker is working. Aiden, I wasn't kidding oh, about that oh, limited oh. time. That blocker won't protect you forever. <coughs> go, turn on power. <sighs> the blocker is working. <laughs> Initiated. Veronica, I made it through the chemicals to the first dome. Great. Now just get to the second one. Find a door, a hatch, or whatever leads underground. Right. Emergency protocol initiated. Veronica, found the entrance. So far, so good. But how do you know this place so well, by the way? I was... 
was here just once, long ago. But I have a good memory. That sounds useful. Well, sometimes it's a curse. Really. Veronica, I have a horde of infected here. Shit. I hoped it would be empty by now. Well, it isn't. I don't know if I could get through. Use the UV flashlight on your belt. That should keep them at bay. Just don't stop, Aiden. Ah! <sighs> 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 